Hi, my name is Gudrun from GE Designs. Welcome to our Happy Friday show. Hi, everybody. Thank you for being with us on YouTube and Facebook. It's Friday, so yay, time to celebrate. Time to celebrate. So, of course, if you're new around here, make sure you like our page and hit that follow button or subscribe button if you're watching on YouTube. It's worth it to check in every Friday and Tuesday, of course. We have a lot of fun stuff to offer and some prizes. So stick around through the end of the show. We have a live giveaway, and all you got to do to enter the giveaway is be active. Tell us something about you in the comments, answer our questions. Uh, you ask questions, all kinds of things. So all you got to do is comment, comment, comment. Thumbs up. Thumbs up and hearts. We love those too. We love those too. We appreciate you that are here all the time, every Friday and Tuesday. We appreciate it so much. We're not just talking to um, some dead objects. <laughs> of course, Mr. HP is here running the show behind the scenes. So say hi. To Mr. HP. Hey, everybody. My honey. How you doing? So we celebrate Fridays around here with a little bit of uh, good stuff in a glass. So today's cocktail is called the Sea Breeze. So Sea Breeze is very simple. We are uh, finishing our January with high bulk cocktails. Those are the ones that are easy to make. You put them in a tall glass and stir them up. And this one is so easy. It is just some vodka, some uh, cranberry juice, and some fresh squeezed grapefruit juice. I recommend fresh squeezed. If you can't get it, that's okay. I got some at the farmer's market uh, last weekend, and it is oh so delicious. Makes a difference. And then you just top it off with some sparkling water or, or club soda. I really like it. It's not too sweet. If you want a little more sweetness, you can add just a little bit of pineapple juice or you can add a little um, just agave or simple syrup, but I like it like this. So cheers, everybody. Cheers. Now, of course, easy to make this one non-alcoholic. Leave out the vodka and you've got a really nice fresh drink. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Ah. I'm telling you, this fresh green... Fresh squeezed grapefruit juice makes all the difference. Uh, all the difference. Uh, if you don't like grapefruit or grapefruit juice, try it fresh because it's not as bitter at all. Love, love, love it. Okay, so we have um, some other regular Friday things, and that would be word of the day. Word of the day, Mr. HP. What is your word of the day for everybody? The to word learn of the day. about. Hmm. Oh, I know. You got it? Lollygagging. Lollygagging. <laughs> that is such a funny word. <laughs> lollygagging. I don't even remember when I, I think I heard that first from you. Yeah. Stop the lollygagging. Now I looked it up. So what, what does it mean to you? When do you use this? When I'm lollygagging in... <laughs> At a standstill, wasting time. Wasting time. Looking at TikToks. Yeah, that can take hours. You can <laughs> lollygag on TikTok for hours. Uh, lollygagging, when I looked it up, it actually said, said that when you're doing something that you, um, without any action for a long time, or what I love the word, when you're just idle. So you're just wasting time doing nothing in particular. <laughs> you're lollygagging. So, uh, <laughs> it's okay to lollygag I've sometimes. never heard the word idle spoken about people. I've heard about machines that sit or your car is idle, but um, I think it's really funny to use it on a person. Someone says, <laughs> I'm just idle right now. Procrastinating. So, procrastinating. Yeah, I think this one is a little bit different. You don't necessarily have things to do when you're lollygagging. You're just <laughs> not doing anything. <laughs> like a dance. I'm just idle. So I am going to... Um, try and do more of that, just being do idle sometimes. Gang. It's a dance. My brain doesn't ever go idle, so I don't know if that's even possible for me. I don't even know. 
Well, we have some great quilts on the set. Of course, I had to hang my supersized Amelie behind me. It's ready for tomorrow. Quilt a long day tomorrow. We're counting down. And then behind Mr. HP, he wanted something to match his shirt, his uh, lovely sweatshirt. And so we picked Millie. Millie with the fabrics that were from last, the last bundle club. And that's exciting because today we are going to reveal our January bundle club shipment. Exciting, exciting. So that was a great fit. And isn't that a great match? That's a great match. That's a great match. Want to see it again? Yeah. It is a great match. Good job. So today I wanted to also mention um, today's International Holocaust Remembrance Day. So I wanted to acknowledge that, something that we should never forget. Um, if you've ever been to Germany or I'll switch. It's something that really changes your life. We um, experienced that together. I've done, gone twice, but together last year. We didn't go to I'll switch, but we went, went to Nuremberg. And it's something that has, um, for me, it was actual like a physical reaction. So just should all remember, six million people were killed in the Holocaust. So that's um, something that we should never remember. And on a little bit lighter note, it is also National Chocolate Cake Day. Ooh. I think we need to go cake get cake today. Right? I wonder whether it's a good chocolate cake. That's tricky. I know. Chocolate cake is tricky. I agree. I love chocolate. As you all know, I love my chocolate, but chocolate cake is tricky. Can we just use a, a chocolate brownie? Brownie is good, but brownies can be tricky too. I don't like a store-bought brownie. I only warmed like up. home homemade, straight out of the pan. Put it in vanilla ice cream. I, there's one chocolate cake that I make that is really good. It's a sheet cake, the chocolate sheet cake. But it doesn't really make sense for us for me to make it because you make a big old sheet cake and then it's just us to eat it. I guess we gotta go search for good chocolate cake. Yeah, that might be our next um, our next assignment to find the best chocolate cake in St. Pete. <laughs> Those of you that are local, tell us some good, um, good pointers. So we've got to find our chocolate cake today. All right, so we're going to kick it off with our new segment for Fridays, and that is our show and tell. Happy Friday show and tell. So this is, of course, all of your beautiful quilts that you have shared. Not all of them, but we picked, uh, I think, 10 or 11 quilts to share with you. Those of you that have posted them on Gudrun's Quilt Crew in our Facebook group and keep, keep them coming. There's so much beautiful work there. We love to share it. So here is our show and tell. We will start it off with a beautiful Wanda quilt. This one is made by Kathy and Wanda is in my Stripology Mixology 2 book. Beautiful work, love the blues in there. And then we have a Tara quilt uh, made by Rose. And Tara is in our uh, Stripology Mixology 3 book, our newest one made with 5-inch squares. Beautiful job. I love that border, kind of tying it all together, locking it in. Then we have a strip ribbons uh, that is made with, listen to your heart, our bundle club fabric from October. Our first shipment, that's a beautiful job. That one is Karen's. And this next one is a Millie quilt that is, looks totally different from the one behind Mr. HP. This is Lisa's version. I love this version. I am obsessed with it. Uh, color blocking and recoloring the whole pattern. It looks totally different. So great job, Lisa. Then we have a beautiful bob and weave. Bob and Weave, um, now Millie was a single pattern. Bob and Weave is in my Strip Your Stash book. Made with, uh, everything is made with two and a half inch strips. And I think she made it with Madison One uh, fabric. Oh, I love these fabrics, so cool. I love cool fabrics like that, modern, even large scale, to cut them up into strips because it just gives us such a cool effect. Then we have a Lucy. Lucy quilt arranged in the barn raising layout. This is Natalie's beautiful, colorful. I love the background being purple. It really makes all those golds and chartreuse greens shine. So perfect, perfect choice for a background there. Next up is a super size steamy windows. This one is made by Karen. A beautiful job. 
I believe she, she posted this and it was a gift. So lovely, lovely quilt. Looks very cuddly. And then we have Jessica's Kimberly quilt. I absolutely love this one. I think it's made with Meadowside, I believe the name of the bundle, or at least this one is a very similar colorway as Meadowside, and I have been craving to make something with it, and I actually ran out of luck because that bundle sold out, but I love this colorway, so I will be, will be determined to find uh, something that will work. Then this next up is Mary Jo's Saga quilt. I love this one, how subtle the pattern is, um, and a, what a perfect spot to photograph it. Uh, just, just gorgeous. I don't know if this is whale song or if this is sail away, the fabric, but looks like um, one of those lines. Oh no, this is Turtle Bay, probably Turtle Bay. Beautiful. Um, next up is a jewel. This one is Annie's. Oh, she made it longer. This is beautiful. Love the colors and the mix of uh, prints. Pretty kind of organized colorway. Uh, nothing too wild, but lovely, lovely scrappiness as well. Looks like journey fabric with some other stuff mixed in. Beautiful job. And then we have, last but not least, this amazing Astrid quilt made by Tammy. Uh, this is just gorgeous. The background being black, it looks like stained glass, and she added a little border. Did you see this? Did you see that piece border? She extended the pattern out. That's a beautiful job. Um, love this, love this. So great job, Tammy. And great job, everybody. Yay! Keep those gorgeous quilts coming. They are amazing, and we want to see them all. So we choose uh, new quilts every Friday. So thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing. All right, let's talk about retreat for a little bit. We've been getting wonderful, wonderful submissions and nominations for our scholarship program, and also some donations. So we will definitely be offering more than just the two scholarship spots. So keep those coming. We will uh, close the close the nomination process on Valentine's Day. And actually, if you're still thinking about joining us for retreat, registration closes on Valentine's Day as well. So after Valentine's Day, you cannot register for retreat after that. And uh, reason being, we just need quite a bit of time to organize everything for the shipments. We want to try and ship everything in the beginning of March, so everybody will have their boxes in time for the retreat. So we are going to take this route. It is getting closer to being full, some, uh, one of the sessions. Anyway, so we, we just wanted to set that deadline so, so that we can make it all of that process um, perfect to get things out to you. So I also wanted to mention if you already have registered for a retreat, and picked your bundle and everything, and maybe have, have thought about making a larger quilt or getting some more of those fabrics to make um, something else or a little bit bigger, make sure you contact us, us as soon as possible. So there are a few bundles set aside for each of the colorways for just that purpose if some people wanted to make a larger quilt. So, but they are being snagged up really fast. So make sure you contact us if you want a little bit more extra fabric. We will be emailing you probably in the next couple of weeks. If you wanted to add backing fabric to your box shipment, and so just look out for that email probably in about two, two, two and a half weeks. So check that out. But that is the news about retreat. We, uh, I'm having so much fun putting everything together, the recipes, the cocktails, and um, the whole games and everything. Everything, all the gifts that go into the box as well. I cannot wait. To, for you to see it, right? Yes. Fun stuff. I think you should talk about customer services contacting us. Oh, right. So, and this always happens when we have something going on, uh, like our quilt along coming up tomorrow. I just wanted to remind everybody that we are uh, open Monday through Friday from 9 to 4. So we only answer the phone from 9 to 4. And I just wanted to remind people to please don't lose your manners uh, when you want an answer quickly, 
We are closed on the weekend, so we don't answer emails or um, phone calls, but we answer right away the first, next business day. So just um, make a note of that. If it's an email, you send an email after four on Friday. We are not back in the office answering emails until Monday morning. Um, so I understand that there are, you need an answer fast sometimes, but that's just how our business is. We are a small business. We always answer the email same day or within 24 hours, um, the same day if it is a business day, of course. Um, we do have circumstances come up, of course. We have people out sick as well, as happens in every household and every business everywhere so that does happen or maybe you asked a question that needs uh, a specific answer from a specific person so maybe that will take a little bit longer to um, get back to you but we always do answer every email so if you email us and you don't get an answer in two days please check your junk uh, junk folder it may have gotten into your spam the reply or make sure that that email you sent to us make sure that that is spelled correctly so we are help at g equal designs with an s dot com and so many times people have been complaining about sending us email after email and we never get them because uh, our email was spelled incorrectly so just wanted to say that and um yeah so no need to be frustrated if we don't get back to you on the weekends that's just how we operate um we like to quilt on the week <laughs> just like you uh, all right, so let's talk about quilt along. It's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Yay! I am so excited. I started prepping my fabrics that I'm going to sew along with everybody. We, of course, start at 10 a.m. Central Time. Central Time. So you have your schedule. If you purchase the pattern, you have your schedule. You have your cutting instructions with a cutting video. And you also now have the full pattern. It was just released, always release it 24 hours before we kick off the quilt along. So here's, here's what I recommend doing. Print it out if you can, at least read through it, but please hold back in starting. I understand that you're excited and think this one goes pretty quickly, but I always offer some little tips and tricks for parts of the process and, um, but I understand you're excited and maybe you are busy tomorrow. If you want to start and get going, please hold back on posting anything until after the quilt along. Because we want it to be, well, not after, during the quilt along, we will be posting our progress. So it's okay then. But please don't post a finished quilt today or tomorrow morning because it's always pretty kind of discouraging for everybody participating. I think it's okay. We can hold back, can't we? So any questions on a tomorrow? We want to make sure that everybody has all the information. You find, is there a special link to access the live stream? No, so it's the same way you watch our shows. It's going to be on YouTube and Facebook. So again, very important to subscribe to our channel on YouTube or follow our page. And we talked about last week how you need to go to your notification, making sure that you get notified whenever we go live. So make sure you check all that before tomorrow. Um, your pattern is in your account on geequaldesigns.com. So, so go to our website, log in, click on my downloadable files, find the Amelie Supersized, and then you will find all the files for the PDFs and the videos will appear there below. Um, I saw a question about finding the pattern, but not the videos for the pattern. The videos for the pattern, of course, will be played live on, during our quilt along tomorrow. And then right after that segment, I will put it into your account. We don't release those until during the quilt along. Does that make sense? The music, everything else is on our blog. So find, go to our blog on the website, find the supersized Amelie quilt along blog post. And we keep adding to that blog post uh, different information as it becomes available. So now you can find a link to the music playlist. You can find um, a recipe for some pumpkin chili, which is delicious if you want to prep ahead and not have to cook tomorrow. And then there are some cocktail recipes, both, both um, non-alcoholic and a little bit alcoholic, 
We either way for us to toast together at the end of the day tomorrow. Just a little bit. Yes, Just a little bit. bit. And um, per usual, Mr. HP asked me, make sure we get all the ingredients to make our stack and whack sandwiches tomorrow morning. <laughs> stack and whack breakfast sandwich. Yes. Um, so, yeah. any more questions? Everybody's wondering why my headphones are crooked. Oh, why is that? So I have one on my ear and one off my ear, and it feels most comfortable just laying right there. Oh, they thought that you were being cool. <laughs> no, it just looks silly. It looks a little silly, but I get it. It works. It works. Um, everybody's loving your playlist. Thank you. There's everything but the kitchen should sink in there. And um, there's some supersized songs, <laughs> I hear. Some supersized songs. All right, let me see if there's any more questions here on... Um, on YouTube. Oh, will there be biscuits? Oh, Lynette is asking about um, the coffee cake recipe. The coffee cake recipe is also on the blog, but it's in the blog post for the perfect pairing show. That was last, was it last week? Yeah, last week. So the perfect pairing show, click on that blog post. That's where the coffee cake recipe. All right, from Nancy, one of my strips is only 41 inches. So one square is only 13 and a half inches. Will it still work? Uh, yes, but I talked about it a little bit yesterday. It's, it's close to working. Uh, you might have to just trim a little bit shorter or wait, um, do some scant seaming on that one square. I would probably do the scant seaming. So for the, um, what was I talking about? Oh, when you're cutting, when you're subcutting your strips, cutting those squares, what I said yesterday is if your fabric is, you know, 41, you can cut all the squares a little bit smaller um, or include the salvages in there because we are going to trim. So just include the salvages. It's fine. It's going to get trimmed off. So I wouldn't worry about it um, if you have a half inch salvage. Is uh, there a fabric pool still posted for enchanted fabric? I looked, I couldn't find it. Did you, if you try just the search, go into the search button and, and um, type in enchanted and it should, the blog post should come up if there was. I'm not sure, I don't remember if that was um, ever posted. All right, uh, what is a stack and whack sandwich? We get this every quilt along. <laughs> you wanna explain it? That's the coolest name ever. <laughs> he named it, of course. He named it because uh, we were talking about a stack and whack technique, and he, he said it sounded like a great sandwich. <laughs> so. So you created it. Well, we, uh, the, the sandwich was already created. It just didn't have a name. It was a, it's our breakfast sandwich. It's a beautiful breakfast sandwich with an egg. It's got some vegan ham, vegan cheese, tomato, avocado. What else? What else is on there? Oh, some pepper jelly, very important, and some sriracha mayo. Stack and whack. Oh, so good. I'm already, I'm already excited about it. <laughs> Um, okay, uh, the start time, so the schedule that is in your account, that first thing you got, all the times, it's listed on the top, all the times are central time zone, central standard time. So even though we're not physically in central time zone, that's what we always go with, because GE Design is located in a central time zone, so we're always going to stick to that. What we post times is always cent central time zone. All right. Does the supersized Amelie also have the regular size cutting and layout? No, so that pattern is just for the supersized. The, there's a separate pattern for the regular sized Amelie because things are just a tad bit different. All right. Is Mr. HP lollygagging? He can't lollygag. He has to do his job right now. I am definitely not lollygagging. <laughs> like but he way. has. He will be lollygagging later today, I'll tell you that. For somebody that gets up at 5 in the morning... Um, yeah, he gets a little droopy later on, starts to lollygag. His brain goes idle. <laughs> when were you on uh, When was I on? I mean, technically I'm always on, because my brain is always on, but <laughs> we didn't have a show yesterday, so. Did I say something about yesterday? I don't know. Probably. 
Oh, what is pepper jelly? Oh, red pepper jelly. It's like a little, it's like a jam jelly, but it's got a little kick. Oh, it's the best. <laughs> I can't live without it. Uh, I use it on so many things. Burgers, stack and work sandwiches, cheese and crackers. Hmm? Um, Uh, neither of us drinks coffee, so our morning drink is actually kombucha. We cannot live without our kombucha in the morning. Yeah. Pour coffee, kombucha in the coffee. Uh, <laughs> that's ruining the kombucha for me. The only coffee I drink is an espresso martini. <laughs> uh, somebody asked if the pattern was only three pages. I think it's four at least with a cover, just, I don't remember exactly. So check it out. Maybe you didn't, all the pages didn't print for you. Last page should be the, the layout. Um, do you put the sandwich on toast or do you fry it? Oh, it's on a toasted. So we use those sandwich thins, the thin um, sandwich bread. So we toast that and then we, we fry the egg. Or you can use uh, a just egg if, I, if we are completely vegan, we go back and forth. Um, and so then it's on there and it's, and then I heat up the, I heat up the uh, ham and the cheese. So it melts a little bit. Make me hungry. I know. Oh, well, someone said nothing but cake, but chocolate cake. Well, we've, our favorite is though, nothing but cakes is the raspberry white chocolate. That is the absolute favorite of mine of bunt cakes. I'm not so sure Bundt about cakes. their, I've had their chocolate cake, but that's not my favorite chocolate. Mine needs to be like really moist and juicy and I don't know. <laughs> this is the Friday Chocolatey. food show. Cake <laughs> I know, we're obviously hungry. Lunch. We have not had lunch, so that's why. All right, let's, uh, should we move on or do you see any more questions about tomorrow? <laughs> uh, okay, lots of folks that we've turned on to pepper jelly, yes. Five pages, that make, makes more sense. I was sure it wasn't three. So thank you for that. Okay, let's move on to our next segment. This one is an exciting one. This is our Bundle Club reveal. So Goodies Bundle Club is our quarterly subscription club where you get sent a whole 12-piece fabric bundle every three months before a year. And um, I curate this bundle. We have most of the pieces from a fabric line, and then I supplement that with some great basics. And then we give you great ideas on how to use it by making up quilts uh, that are included in a beautiful booklet that comes with the bundle. So it's time to check out our Octo oh, no, October, January bundle club shipment that was just sent out. Yeah, so it was sent out last week. On the 20th is when everything ships out. So um, it starts, let me just do the whole reveal for you. We have a video for you where I reveal everything in it and talk about it, but this is the fun part, is getting the package in the mail. So um, this is what it looks like, and then every month it's a su surprise. Not every month, every three months it's a surprise. We have to wait till August, uh, October, April, sorry. April for the next one. So here is... Our January bundle. Let's see. Goodies Bundle Club. Woo! This one is beautiful blues and green teal. So let's check out what is all involved in this one. Hi, my name is Gudrun from GE Designs, and in this video, I am thrilled to introduce you to our January 2023 selection for Goodies Bundle Club. For this month, I chose a collection called Blissful, which is made by Wilmington Prints. And I think there's nothing to it. Let's head on over and take a look at the fabric. What drew me to this collection was the main print, and technically, that this looked like a very traditional pattern with some paisleys, beautiful florals, however, a very non-traditional colorway. 
And I loved being able to put together a bundle that was semi monochromatic, kind of all in tones, starting from the navies into the teals into the deep sea greens. And so this is something that looks totally different and exciting. I did add some basics in here, but let's start with the main print. The main print is the large floral, is that deep dark navy in the background. And then we have these beautiful aquas, really soft peachy pinks, a little bit of like a taupey beige in here, but lots of movement. I like the scale being small and large. Then we have the paisley, called paisley contour. So a little bit modernized version of a paisley. I also love that it just has those specks of the floral in between, which connects it to the next print, which is called blissful floral pollard, also navy. But as you can see, there's a little bit of a shade difference between the three, and I love, I love that. So this is a beautiful, just a smaller, floral just toss so it's gonna act like almost like a one on tone then i added one uh two basics in here in this navy category uh the paisley toss in the navy which is also by wilmington and then also the toss triangles so i love the scale of this this is a little more open a little more open space so it's going to act more as a solid foundation and then we have this the graphic floral in the navy now here you can see these teals and aquas kind of blending into the navy, so it's going to soften it, connect it to the other colorway. Going on to the scroll, so this is uh, the scroll in the teal, and it's, it, I wouldn't call this teal, it's very soft, it's more like a sea glass color. Really love that um, as a soft note. And then we have the medium floral, the floral toss, so that is more like a play on the main print but on a smaller scale and this really beautiful aqua teal background. Then I added a, a basic, this is called vintage texture in the turquoise. And I love this because it gives it a little bit of a kind of a grungier texture, a little bit modernizes everything. And this color is just beautiful. Then we have the floral fowlard in the teal. So this is, um, has a lot of green in it, but it's the same print as we had in the navy. We have the, floor, uh, the graphic floral in the teal, but also, again, has a lot, of, a lot of green in it. Same print as we have here. It kind of connects the two. And then we finish it off with a crisscross texture in the darkest teal. So this is going to be the darkest teal uh, used throughout. So here in the booklet, you can see all the fabrics in the bundle. And then let's take a look at the fabrics that play well with the bundle, my fabric pole, if you wanted to add some things to it. I'm gonna start with the navies on the darker end. So we have chalk and charcoal in midnight, which is the deepest, darkest uh, navy. The next one up will be the grunge in the true blue, a little bit more blue to it. And then a third one is canvas and the midnight. So there you see even more blue, which connects somewhat with this lighter blue that is in these two prints. And then just as a little different texture, the jacks in the sapphire has a little bit of the li lighter blue um, jacks in here to connect with those colors. Going into our teals, I start on the lighter end with a dash flow in the mist. And um, the next one is called flow in the aqua frost, just a perfect mix of the lights and the darks. Then we have the thatched peacock, a little bit brighter than this, this teal, so it really connects um, both between those two. And then I love the chalk and charcoal in the ultramarine, so more of the greener tones to connect with the darker greener tones. So then I pulled in some accent colors that are not in the prints, but of course that peachy pink is prevalent throughout all the prints, so I chose two options, the sugar and the peach fizz, or the dash flow and the parfait, which has a little bit more white in it. Then we have a lot of that um, beigey taupe in there. So I chose the Bumbleberries Natural Linen to throw in there if you wanted to get that kind of accent. As far as background, all of the background colors in the line are fairly off-white, um, almost white, so I chose the 
whispers in the jacks white so it's not pure white on white but really close so that would be a great contrast to all of the fabrics in the bundle so let's look closer at our booklet and the fabrics are here on the first page and then take a look at the quilt for this bundle i couldn't help myself when we made four different quilts so let's take a look at them closer we're going to start with the alberta so alberta is a 10 inch square pattern so you can cut from the bundle you can cut all your 10 inch squares and then still have strips uh, cut from the rest of it to be able to make the crisscross double toss but for alberta you will need a couple of extra fabrics so i used um, a fabric from the line that we have available and this is the floral foulard in the white so it has it's that same print we have in the green and the blue but on a white background and it has all the colors in the in the florals here so we use this for the background fabric for Alberta and then for the binding using that darkest the crisscross and the teal and for the beautiful backing we used the white version of the main print so the blissful large all over white and this just turned out beautiful on the back of that quilt the quilting shows up really nicely that it called Swirls and Feathers, and it's by Craker Quilting and Design. The crisscross double toss uh, uses both one and a half inch strips and two and a half inch strips. So you could do either one of the 10 inch square quilts, either Alberta or Amelie, and then cut the rest into strips to make this one, because it's really based on the background and the main fabric. So for the background fabric, we used another print from the line. It is a light gray version of the scroll, all over scroll. So it's called uh, Blissful Scroll Light Gray. It's a really nice, just a soft gray for that background. For uh, the main print, we of course use the main fabric uh, all over floral in the navy. So that is used in uh, the alternate blocks plus the setting triangles and the border. And then for the narrow border to separate it, we used the dark, the crisscross texture in the teal, the darkest teal. And then for the binding, we used, this one is also in the bundle, is the floral foulard and the navy. So that was a really nice binding to serve as a little frame. For the backing, we added another print from the line that is not in the bundle, and that's a beautiful, paisley that is um paisley contour in the white so it is that really nice white background with a beautiful paisley and all the colors used in the bundle and then just a little polka dot of gray in between which gives it even more movement so it's beautiful on the back the quilting pattern we use for this quilt is called fossilized and is designed by the long arm league so let's flip the page and look at the other two quilts. So we, I made Amelie. This one is a 10 inch square quilt. So you could uh, use the bundle to cut 10 inch squares. You will need an accent fabric. So for the accent fabric on this one, I chose to go with a pink. So we use the sugar and the peach fizz. It's a very peachy pink and it's perfect uh, accent to that peach that is in the line. And then uh, for the backing, I use that for the binding as well. For the backing, we use the all over blissful large floral for the back because uh, we had that peach. I thought it was a great connection to connect the two and include that in the back. And then it is quilted with what we, is called spring pinwheels, and that is designed by Wasatch Quilting. And the fourth quilt in the booklet is called strip cocoon this one is a two and a half inch strip quilt so you could definitely cut um, 10 inch squares and then some strips from the rest of the bundle or you could cut all strips from the bundle and make a larger version of strip cocoon we added just a few things to be able to make it a uh, lap size but for this you just need bundle fabrics and then some binding so we used the Floral Fowlard in the navy for the binding. And then for the back, again, used the white all over floral. I just really loved that because there, there was so much blue 
and green on the front. I wanted to lighten it up a little bit on the back. The, the quilting pattern is called Cupid, and that is, I believe, made by Urban Elements. On the back side of the booklet, you will see all the other blissful fabrics we have available that are either in the bundle already or they are additions that we use in the quilts. And I'm going to take you through those. We have the blissful all over large floral in the white. Then we have the scroll in the light gray. And these are available, all of them, in either three yard cuts or one yard cuts. And then we have the paisley contour in the white. And then the one more light fabric is the floral foulard in the white. As for the navy, we have the all over main floral in the navy. And we have the floral foulard. Both of them are in the bundle. And then we have the crisscross texture in the teal. So these, all these fabrics are available in our one yards or three yards. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little peek of what was in our January 2023 Bundle Club selection. If you are not a subscriber but would like to, make sure you check out our product page and either sign up for notifications when spots open up or snatch up the ones that are available. Thank you for watching. There it is. This is our bundle club for January. Of course, I did mention in the video that we do have some spots. They've been kind of going a little bit fast. And when you sign up now, you actually will receive this bundle. So you will receive this bundle right away. And then your next charge won't be until April 20th. And then the shipment of the April one. It's only for a year. And it's really great. So I have all the fabrics here that we used in the bundle and we used in the quilts. So this is the booklet that everybody gets. And so the one thing exciting about, about getting it, and uh, we always try and have everybody keep it a secret until I reveal it on the shows. And one thing you can do, we have QR codes in the booklet, just like we do in the Mixology 3 book. If you scan this one, it takes you to the fabric pull for all the one yards that I pulled with the line. And then there's two more in here, um, both here on the back. We have another QR code here that takes you to a page with all of these fabrics. And that's kind of a great thing if you're a subscriber. You get to see those before anybody else. You can find the page so you can secure all the additional fabrics if we want to get some backings, some borders, maybe some bindings. And then this one down here is Gudrun's tip. So that will take you to this video that we just played for you with a little bit of extra information for the, um, for the subscribers. So you can kind of talk, uh, see me talk through it all before anybody else gets to see that. The coupon that is on the back is valid, uh, starts on February 15th, so it's not valid right away. So uh, you have to wait until February 15th to use this one. So it's always a different type of coupon included in every, every shipment. So I uh, love to see it here. So all of the extra fabrics that we have here, here's the bundle fabrics. Somebody asked that, that the, their screen was showing a little bit greener. I, I know I talk like this is teal, but there's a lot of green in it. It's very greenish teal. And this one I would almost call like a peacock green. There's a blue in it. Um, so there, it's, it's definitely called teal. Uh, the fabrics, call, they call them teal. So that's what I just went with. But these are very almost minty green. So I really love this combination. Just almost like staying monochromatic, just blue and green. And with the accents of the pink and the, and the uh, little bit of that taupe. So I do have the fabric pool. I know some of these we are out of. And um, I know a lot of you were looking towards some, some different options for the peachy pink. And I do have some different options because unfortunately, sugar is actually discontinued. So we won't be getting any more sugar. The parfait just sold out because everybody that got their package uh, ordered it right away. We do have um, the taupes and, and obviously white. But I did go through the website and uh, looked for 
for uh, peachy pink fabrics that would work great as a substitute for either of those. Now this color here in this pink peachy color, it's kind of an in between pink and a peach. So you could go either way. You could go more pink or you could go more peach. If you pull more peach, you will kind of pull out more of the yellows in here. And if you go more pink, it will, it will pull uh, more kind of reddish hues uh, through. So it's either way. But here are some of the other options. Uh, these are the ones that we have additional. So the seven different fabrics we have additionally are both sold in three yards and one yards. So great for backings. And of course, the crisscross uses that beautiful main floral in the blue. Uh, and I just love this. I was really inspired by the traditional florals, but they're kind of done with a little bit of an edge and a little modern feel, and especially uh, the color combination like this. But here are the, are the options for replacement of that pink. So we have some brand new art gallery colors in our deco stitch and in our floral element. So this is deco stitch. I believe this one is called, this is a more peachy tone. Um, it is called a Soft Apricot. Then we have a floral element called Sweet Peach. And that one is beautiful and a nice soft in between peach and um, pink. There is a pixel color um, that is called Peach. That is actually more pink than it is peach. And then it does have just little specks of yellow and gold. And it, that's actually in the fabrics as well. So that one would be great. Um, then we have chalk and charcoal rose. I know this one was selling out fast as well. And then uh, the dash flow in the conch color is similar to the parfait, but it ha is a little more pink, a little more peachy pink. And then we have the speckled papaya. So we should have plenty of options for substituting if you really need something fast. But hopefully we'll be getting more of the dash flow. Unfortunately, sugar is not coming back. We'll be getting more dash flow and we'll be getting more chocolate charcoal. So any questions on the bundle club? I'm excited about this one. There were some, I could, we couldn't stop, make, start, uh, stop making quilts. That's why I made four. Uh, usually we only do three, but I just had to make all four. I thought that um, the price of the bundle club is $79.95 uh, that gets automatically charged every three months, and then plus shipping. So it comes with the, the uh, booklet. The patterns are not included. This is just meant to be ideas, because I know a lot of our followers already have the books and have a lot of the patterns. So this is just as an inspiration. You, of course, don't have to make these exact quilts. But this is just our way to show you what will be perfect pairings with these fabrics um, and uh, kind of be able to see how they get used in a quilt. And I know we we all as quilters would love to see if you were looking at a fabric you would love to see it used in a quilt to really see how it comes together so this is just a way to do that and even if you chose to use a totally different pattern you can kind of see what the color combination and what that's going to look like so i love that fact and i think a lot of our subscribers do is strip cocoon a standalone pattern yes it is it is available both as a pdf and a printed pattern very easy fun quilt to make could you make two of the quilts with a bundle? Yes, that is always the idea. So I do include that in the booklet. Uh, when I talk about each of the quilts, I kind of give you instructions how you could use the same bundle to make two quilts. So you could make the Alberta and Crisscross from the same bundle, or you could do Amelie and um, Strip Cocoon, or Amelie and Crisscross. There's different combinations that you can make all the quilts. Can you mix and match Alberta and Strip Cocoon? Yes, you totally can. That's what I explained in the booklet, so I will tell you exactly what you will need for each one. Obviously, you could only choose one 10-inch square quilt, so it would either have to be Amelie or Alberta, unless you're making a smaller quilt. So, if we purchase two three-yard cuts, does the five-yard discount apply? Um, no, it does not. The, the benefit is the three yards are already cheaper than buying three one yards, so you get the discount there, but the benefit is you have them um, continuous cut. So we don't do the five yard discount on that, but it is a better discount because you get $5 off five one yards, but you get $6 off 
um, two or three hours. So it's, it adds up to be the same. Do you ever sleep? <laughs> I, ever, I get this question a lot. I do. I do. I stay up quite a bit later than Mr. HP. He's usually knocked out as soon as he hits the pillow. My brain takes its time to kind of calm down. And then in the morning. And then he gets up most times way ahead of me. Um, oh, it's only most times. It is most times. Because there are times. And I'm usually up, but I, you know, lay there a little bit to try and, try and get, let my body rest a little bit, even count. though my brain is on. <laughs> yeah, don't count. You're lollygagging. I'm lollygagging. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> wish you. I was. I wish I was. I'm already thinking about all the things. All the things that need to happen that day. And then all the extra ideas I get overnight, which are a lot, I tell you. All right, so it is uh, time for us to round up, finish up. Live winner, Mr. HP. Have you put uh, a name into the, or pulled a name on, out of the random generator yet? Sure have. Drum roll, please. Woo, who's our winner? Thank you all for all your comments. Christy Asen, congratulations, congratulations, Christy. Send us an email to help at geequaldesigns.com and we will get right to you with that gift card so you can go shopping. $25 uh, are yours. So I think there's not going to be too long until you see us. Hopefully you're all joining us tomorrow. 10 a.m. Central Time is when we kick off our Amelie Super Size Quilt Along. And so get those machines oiled up if they take oil. Clean them out, give them a new needle, and uh, wind some, some bobbins and be ready with a happy attitude and a smile because we're going to have a good time. And so we will be next. We were here tomorrow, of course, but our next show, Tipsy Tuesday, will be this coming Tuesday. That's going to be January 31st. That is Otley's birthday, 30th birthday, big one. Um, that's going to be 4 p.m. And then our following Friday show is February 3rd. It's already February, everybody. 12 p.m. Central Time. It's coming. It's just speeding by this year. But I hope I will see all of you tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Get some good night's sleep. Have a wonderful rest of your Friday, and we'll see you bright and early. Not so early for some, very early for others. Cheers, everybody. Thank you.